Hello, everybody. My name is Nurse Tao. Welcome to episode three of Cooking on a Boat. Today, I'm gonna try, tell you how to cook a very delicious Chinese dry mushrooms. Have you ever wandered into the supermarket and you see this type of Chinese dry mushrooms? And you kept wondering what would be the best way to cook those and what would be the best way to make it delicious. Actually, I have been eating those since I was a kid. But the simple way to cook this, to prepare those mushroom, is actually use very one simple ingredients, which is Chinese soy sauce. And this is my favorite Chinese soy sauce because it comes from my hometown and this is the brand of the soy sauce. There you go. So yeah, just one ingredient. However, you need to soak those mushrooms for overnight before you cook them. So uh, before you soak the mushrooms, the best way is to try to rinse the mushroom first. So you rinse them with warm water. Slightly rinse them. And what I usually like to do is put those mushrooms into a mason jar. And then I fill the mason jar with water. And I put the jar lids on and put it soak it overnight. And if I had time, I will shake it up and down a few times every time that I remember and let it soak overnight. Then your mushroom will be ready to go for the next day. One thing that you can always remember, let's say if you want to cook the mushroom right away, one easy way to prepare those mushrooms is to put them in a mason jar and then put in hot water and then close the lid and then shake it many many times and then after like 10-15 minutes mushroom is ready to go however I always like to soak it overnight because that's the most traditional way to soak those mushrooms so now I'm going to let those mushrooms soak overnight and then I will show you how to prepare those mushrooms with simple one ingredient Chinese soy sauce Okay, now those Chinese dry mushrooms have been soaked in this water for overnight. Like I say, sometimes I let it soak overnight, sometimes maybe I let it soak for a few hours. And sometimes I forget. I, so when I forget, I put it in the fridge and let it just stay there for a few days or whatever that I remember. Then I take it out and they're ready to be cooked. I found the easiest way to prepare those Chinese mushrooms is a Caesar. All you need to do is just remove the stem. That's all you need to do. And then if you like to, you can always squeeze out some water but into this mason jar before you put into the bowl because that's gonna be your next stage of cooking. For cooking those Chinese dried mushroom, you need one single ingredient, which is Chinese soy sauce. As I mentioned before, this is my favorite Chinese soy sauce. If you like to know where to get them in Seattle, I'm more than well happy to let you know. And then you just need a little bit cooking oil. So I guess I should say two ingredients versus one, but I don't necessarily consider cooking oil as an ingredient, but there you go. I can, you can use any type of cooking oil if you like. I like to use great seed oil. So what you want to do is that you want to heat up the pan really hot and then put those white side of the mushroom down into the pan and let it sit there until that side get browned before you add the soy sauce and also the soaking liquid. So never ever toss the soaking liquid away. And that's why I say you want to wash, rinse those dry Chinese mushrooms first before you soak them overnight. So you can use those really clear 
soaking liquid into your cooking. It's kind of like a braising process. So now let's turn on, turn on the stove and let's get started on this cooking process. Now the frying pan is hot. So I'm gonna put about two tablespoons of cooking oil into the frying pan. Like I say, you want to cook the white side of the mushrooms into the frying pan. You might want to turn it down before you put in the mushroom because now you're probably going to create some special right now. So what you want to do is to cut like the white side so let it sit there until it cut turn brown. So one thing about those Chinese dried mushrooms is that they come in different size, so they can be spent a little bit, but not very much. Another thing that you can make those mushroom look beautiful, like if you want to do a presentation with some vegetable, you can use a small knife and just slightly cut the top. It can make like a flower shape. And that's how it presented in the restaurants. So let it sit there. Once everything's in, you might turn up here a little bit. In case you haven't noticed, this is actually called an induction stove. So it's pretty easy for me to cook on a boat. I love induction stove because I can adjust the heat really fast and also turn it down really fast as well. I hate electric stove because electric stove just so hard to control in terms of heat and it's really difficult in when you cook Chinese food because you kind of have to adjust the heat up and down really in a short period of time. Alright so I'm gonna let it sit there until the bottom part turn brown and then we'll fit them to the other side and so then I will be ready to put in the soy sauce and also the soaking liquid. The soaking liquid, the purpose of the soaking liquid is to kind of like make almost like a braising process for those mushrooms. Those mushrooms really have those meaty flavors and I also want to make sure that every single flavor from the mushrooms go into that. And that's why never ever or soaking liquid. Okay, now it has been about two minutes or so. So those mushroom, the bottom portion seem to be start to turn brown. So we're gonna turn them over to the other side. So let's take a look at this. All right, look at that. Those are beautiful. And as you can see, this one does not necessarily have a total brown in the white part, but that's totally fine, does not matter, but the edges is kind of start to brown. Because those mushroom structures kind of hard to get the entire thing brown, so that's totally fine. Because we're gonna braise them, so all the flavor is gonna go in there anyway. So those edges are all brown, so that's totally great. Alright, so now you might create some splash here. So you want to put a, put a little bit of the Chinese soy sauce in there. Roughly about two tablespoons. I'm gonna get a lid for those mushrooms as well. Alright, so I'm gonna chew about two tablespoons of Chinese soy sauce. Alright, so now I'm gonna turn it up the heat. So let it braise. So I usually like to let the soy sauce cook down a little bit before I put in the soaking liquid. So just be really, really careful when you watching the mushroom cooking because you don't want to cook it dry or burn the mushrooms. So right now the soy sauce have cooked down a little bit. You can turn down the heat a little before you add in some soaking liquid. It's the same thing as you cooking the green bean that in previous episode. You want to add a little bit liquid at a time. You want to, you don't want to just dump the whole thing because when when you put in so much liquid, it basically it's like a boiling the whole thing. So I kind of like like to put in a little bit liquid at a time 
and then sometimes maybe I will separate the soy sauce like little bit at a time. So have like soy sauce, soaking liquid. So make sure that all the flavor get into the mushrooms. Now it has been about five minutes. Let's check out the mushrooms. Look at the broad scabby deals. Now we're gonna flip to the other side again. I like to play with them, so that's why. Look at that. How beautiful is that? Almost some flower pattern on the other side of the Chinese mushroom. Okay, so now I'm gonna add in the braising liquid again. And let it sit for another five minutes. I love cooking those Chinese dry mushroom. You know why? Because I get to drink my wine. It takes about 10 to 15 minutes for the entire process. So why not? Now it has been about 15 minutes. So I think those Chinese mushrooms are ready. So let's take a look. Yes, look at that reduced juice. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off right now. And I put them on a plate for you. Look at this beautiful color. It turned out that two tablespoon of soy sauce is very it's actually enough for two tablespoons of soy sauce. So look at this. For me, I always like to pair those Chinese mushroom with some Chinese green vegetables, such as batoi, such as any green veggie really. Sometimes I tend to pair them with some cap like veggie that have a little bit more tanginess, like some tonness to it. So let's take a look at here, and we're almost done here. Whoa. And of course, you can use those Chinese mushrooms for anything else. Like I say, if you want to pair it with steak, totally durable for that. But just be mindful that those mushrooms have really strong flavors. And for somebody in my household, he likes to use those with like eggs and toast in the morning. So that's totally durable as well. So so versatile uh, for me. This is just like a traditional Chinese dish for me. Look at those gorgeous colors. And I wish you can have a smell right now because it's just so strong and fragrant. And I wish you can smell it right now. Here it is. A simple Chinese dry mushrooms braised with a Chinese soy sauce and with soaking liquid from the Chinese mushrooms. I hope that you will enjoy this episode. And also, another tip, the Chinese mushroom, you can get a package and stash in your pantry. It can last forever. So, why not? Why you have to stay home, just buy a package and you can use those Chinese mushrooms anytime you like. Until our next episode, please stay home and stay safe. See you next time. Bye.